YouTube. Man, y'all know it's your boy Big One checking in, man. <clears throat> Hold on, I need to let that goddamn heat. Let me turn the heat off. Cause this shit baking me now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But hey man, look man, we back in the cut with another video for y'all, man. I told y'all, oh snap, I ain't mean to do that. I told y'all I was going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? We grinded. We in grind mode. Um, that's all it is. That's all it is. Look, we ain't going to do too much talking, man. Y'all know what to do, man. Smash the subscribe button. We in the road to 3K subscribers. 100K before 2023 end, man. We going crazy. We grinding. Uh, one so lit channel. <clears throat> And all of that type of shit, man. So look. This video we got right here is NBA D Dog Ban Rouge Biggest Crash Dummy. NBA D Dog Ban Rouge Biggest Crash Dummy, man. So we finna check it out. I ain't gonna lie. NBA D Dog, <laughs> the, the main, she did some crazy ass shit, dog. So we're gonna, we gonna see, though. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see why they call him a crash dummy. Tune in, lock in, man. Rock out. Y'all go check out my old uh, prank. My old pranks, hot box video, challenges, and all that good shit, man. Because 2023, we coming in with a new vibe, a new wave, good energy, no bad vibes, and nothing. Let's check out NBA D Dog, Baton Rouge, biggest crash dummy. Oh, hold up, y'all. All right, now let's get into it. Me and D Dog in middle school planning on stepping on sh. Me and D Dog in middle school planning on stepping on sh. Hey, that one thing I can't say. One thing about young boy, he gonna shout out his partners because he got so many songs shouting out D Dog. This crazy. Once again, the system has failed. A man convicted in a murder from 2012. Picked up on attempted murder charges out on bond Monday when he led police on a chase that left a passenger in his car dead. The subject of today's video is a man that's too wild for his own good. He's so wild that it appears that he's incapable of functioning in a regular society. Some people are just met for prison and the subject of today's video is no different. On the streets, he has the reputation of a dead. You know, he got so fucking fat too. That's crazy. Like his face and everything, he got fat killer and he's known to have a couple of screws loose in his head the subject yeah, of today yeah, that boy got a couple screws loose in his head for real dog and today we're going to be telling his story but before we get into the video please be sure to like and subscribe NBA D-Dog, whose real name is Darian Bailey, originally grew up and lived in New Orleans, Louisiana until 2005. As most of you probably know, in August of 2005, a deadly tropical hurricane by the name of Hurricane Katrina struck the southeastern United I States I was and caused though. endless amounts of damage. The hurricane mm, and its yeah, aftermath claimed more than 1,800 lives, and it ranked as the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. The city that was most negatively affected by Hurricane Katrina was New Orleans. As a result, a majority of its residents evacuated, and one of those residents was D-Dog. D-Dog moved to the north side of Baton Rouge and would eventually get tied into the streets as he grew up. He became a member of NBA slash 4KT, made famous by the rapper NBA Youngboy. D-Dog is one of NBA Youngboy's closest friends, and Youngboy constantly shouts him out in his music. Sure in fact, oh, one of Youngboy's most popular songs is called Free D-Dog. Whenever a young boy had a problem, he would send D Dog to go handle it. Look, bro, that was look. That that what you call a real a real nigga, bro. That what you call a real nigga, a real hitter. You feel me? A lot of these niggas out here, they not living like that. You point out a nigga in the crowd, niggas are gonna be like. Hey, just chill, bro. Just chill. He ain't really. Nah, D Dog, that nigga head first. Shit, well, who what? He don't give a fuck what happened. He don't If you started it or whatever, he just in the. He ready to go. That what you call a real rider. <laughs> Look, he trying to play the music. Play the music. Oh, 
Dre jumped in the crowd. Look, NBA and 4K that's crazy. Barely beef with another Baton Rouge crew by the name of TBG, made famous by the rappers Fredo Bang and Lit Yoshi. D Dog became a pure savage at a young age. In fact, he allegedly committed his first murder at just 14 years old. On the evening of November 6, 2012, Derek Morino, his wife Demetria, and their teenage daughter were at home on Way and Dante Street in Baton Rouge. Around 6.30 p.m., there was a loud gunshot outside, then the front door flew open. Derek was sitting at the table. Demetria saw two people standing in the doorway with ski masks on. Demetria heard gunshots, grabbed her daughter, and they ran out of the back of the home. Three gunmen fired through the open door at Derek. Derek was struck several times. He was brought to Earl K. Long Hospital, where he tragically passed away. The three perpetrators were later identified as D-Dog's cousin, Juan Herbert, D-Dog's older brother, Benjamin Bailey, who was 20 at the time, and D-Dog, who was just 14 years old at the time. Damn, he was only 14? Shit, that's crazy. He went his first shit at 14. Well, shit, nowadays, they ain't even expect it, though. Because you got 10 and 12 years old out here catching bodies and shit. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I was getting to some shit at 14, but I ain't break nobody. Juan was charged with second-degree murder. He entered into a plea agreement with the state, whereby in exchange for his truthful testimony at trial, he would be allowed to plead guilty to manslaughter. Juan testified that on the day of the shootings, he, Benjamin, and D-Dog went to Juan's apartment on Pampas Street. They were driven there by Benjamin's girlfriend, Tamika Hawkins. Juan testified that at his apartment, they retrieved an AK-47 rifle, a shotgun, and a handgun. Later that day, the three walked to Derek's house and knocked on the door. Juan had the AK-47, Benjamin had the shotgun, and D-Dog had the handgun. Juan heard someone in the house say that he was coming. Juan then kicked the door in and shot Derek. Juan was not sure how many times he fired. The crazy thing about this is that while Juan was committing the murder, D-Dog accidentally shot Juan four times in his back and side. Juan was driven to the hospital and- <laughs> Hold up. That shit don't make sense. He accidentally shot him four times. The person that he went to go do some shit with, he shot him four times. I mean, he was 14, so he probably had no aim. But still, though, if all three y'all, they said it was all three in the doorway. Hey, though, and was, I don't know. That shit, that's crazy. Survived the injuries D-Dog gave him. The Baton Rouge Police Department testified that when they arrived at the scene of the shootings, it appeared there were three different shooters since there were three different types of shell casings at the house. Detectives noted that there were 22 caliber casings in the front yard and front porch area and one in the living room. There were two 7.62 caliber casings in the living room. There was also shotgun wadding under an end table in the living room. Eventually, the police found a blue jacket, a pink ski mask, and a black baseball cap by the dumpster of a liquor store near the scene of the crime. The DNA of Benjamin, Juan, and D-Dog were found on those items. Mental instability. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there was something off about D-Dog mentally. Right. And this would be fully revealed during his murder trial. His mother told law enforcement that D-Dog began having behavioral problems after he was hit by a car while riding his bicycle at a young age. Damn. At the time of his murder trial, D-Dog was still underage. Prosecutors wanted him to be tried as an adult, but after a mental evaluation, a juvenile court judge ruled that he would stand trial as a juvenile. After two days... So that explains it all, bruh. That fucking explains it all. That's why this nigga, he ain't no fucking crash dummy. He ain't no crash dummy. He, you feel me? He got fucked up in the head. And he got hit by a car when he was a little kid. Instead of trying to help this man, give him some help and shit, y'all want to say he a crash dummy. He ain't no fucking crash dummy. His head fucked up. When you mentally fucked up, bro, you don't think? That's why it's called mental illness, mental breakdowns and shit. Like, how the fuck y'all expect a young nigga that got hit that fucked his head up? And then, you know what I'm saying, he, he, he witnessed some shit at 14. So that's going to make it worse on top of you getting hit by a car and fucking your head up. Now you know witness some more shit that traumatized your fucking head up. 
And I mean, you could tell that he probably don't speak about the shit, don't talk about the shit, so he ain't never got help about the shit. Instead of y'all trying to find this man some counsel, some help, y'all just want to be quick to throw a motherfucker. That's why I said, bro. This man, the system ain't right, bro. Y'all motherfuckers ain't right. Let him would have been white, though. If he was white, y'all would have made sure he went to rehab. Y'all would have made sure he had a therapist, a counselor, all that shit because he black. He a crash dummy. He need to be locked up for life. Of testimony, Judge Pamela Taylor Johnson found D Dog had borderline crazy. intelligence and the mind of a 10 year old, even though he was a teenager. Additionally, a look what they said. He had the mind of a 10 year old while he was a teenager. Bruh, he fucked up in the head. Get this man, give him some fucking help. What the fuck? Man, y'all gotta do better, bruh. User on Reddit that claims to have been locked up with D Dog back in the day allegedly witnessed his mental instability firsthand. He said, I was locked up with him as a juvenile when he was 14. The dude's too thrown off. Used to, he used to fight the guards while he was butt ass naked and all. They pepper spray him and everything, and he kept fighting. That's how you know somebody fucking crazy. You wanna know how I know? Because I know somebody like that personally. I ain't gonna put a business out there, but it's a female. And on G, I done seen this girl get her ass beat up and pepper sprayed and on pistol whip and all, and she kept on fucking fighting. Like, that's when you know somebody really fucked up mentally in the head and you got to help them get help for real. According to the user, when D-Jog was locked up as a teenager, he would allegedly go on rampages and fight the guards, even while he was butt naked. The guards <laughs> yeah, no. would allegedly be pepper spraying him and everything, but he would keep on fighting. Ultimately, D-Dog pled guilty in 2019 to a manslaughter charge. He was given 10 years in prison, but only served eight before he was released. D Dog's. So that's when he said, then YB said, D Dog served 10 years because he left a nigga dead. Wild behavior. Damn, look at his charges. Battery, second degree. Battery on officer. Restraining a police officer with force. He got that three times. Battery, second degree again. Battery on officer. Restraining a fourth time. Damn, he did all this in one day. In prison will lead to more charges as he was charged with two counts of battery on a police officer and multiple counts of resisting a police officer with force or violence. The final crash out. It ain't him crashing out, bro. It ain't him crashing out. It ain't him crashing out. He fucked up in the head. It's not crashing out. Yeah, you do got some crash dummies out. Let me tell you what a crash dummy is. Crash dummy is somebody that's not really thinking. They're 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 not really thinking. Got common sense, but they go out here and get on these strong, powerful ass drugs. Then start crashing. That's a crash dummy. D Dog ain't no fucking crash dummy. He's somebody that needed fucking help. And instead of giving him help, y'all wanna throw this man away in prison like that's gonna fucking help him. Y'all see what the fuck he said he was doing in prison? So what the fuck you think him being locked up in prison gonna do? He still gonna be in that B motherfuckers up and killing them? What the fuck? Get the nigga help. Now watch, they'll be quick to offer him the death chip before they try to give him help. Fucked up ass system, bro. Arrested and charged with an attempted murder that took place on July 31st, 2018. He was given a $300,000 bond for the crime and he was able to bond out. Just days after bonding out, D-Dog would do something crazy and crash out for seemingly the last time. On September 21st, 2022, shortly after being released from prison, D-Dog will get into a high-speed chase after coming into contact with law enforcement officers. While driving at super high speeds, D-Dog will get into a crash and tragically, the passenger that was in the car with him passed away. Law enforcement proceeded Damn. to search his car and found a ski mask and weapons inside. People believe that D-Dog was planning on getting back to drilling and carrying out hits. D-Dog was taken to the... <laughs> yeah, my mama. <laughs> hey, that boy was finna go step on some shit. <laughs> hey, it ain't funny, but dude, he was finna go step on some shit. They found a ski mask and hella guns in the back seat. Man, he was finna go slide on oh, that thing. That's wild, man. Hospital to tend to his injuries. D-Dog was officially charged with first-degree vehicular manslaughter, negligent injuring, resisting an officer, possession of a firearm, and manslaughter. He is currently back in jail, being held on a staggering $19.7 million bond. It's crazy to see someone being given a second opportunity at life throw it away so easily. His friend has become one of the richest rappers in the world, and rather than take advantage of it, he threw it all away.
This story goes to show you the importance of mental health. Exactly. The justice system knew that D Dog had mental health issues. Exactly. And rather than get him rehabilitated, they just threw him back onto the streets to wreak havoc on people's lives. Exactly. Like I, like I just fucking said, and that's the end of the video. Like I just fucking said, instead of making sure this man had help in that thing, you feel me? They want to hurry up and throw him behind bars. Ain't no justice system, bro. It ain't no justice. You don't get justice, man. You, that's why I don't understand why y'all dudes be choosing to want to be so street and so gangster so bad. Bro, yeah, if a nigga try you, yeah, you stand on that. You know what I'm saying? You stand on that. You feel me? A, a nigga try your nigga play out your spot, out your position. You stand on that by any means. But just going out here crashing out doing crazy shit, bro. That ain't solving nothing, man. But that's the end of the video. So now we basically know why D Dog is the way he is because he fucked up in the head from when um, he got hit by a car when he was on the bike when he was younger. And then uh, at 14, you know what I'm saying, when he caught the first body or whatever. And after that, boom, it just kept on going. List kept going, list kept going. He beat officers' ass up <laughs> in jail and shit. Like, this shit crazy, man. But hey. Y'all get in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Let me know if y'all think they should have got him help. You know what I'm saying? Mental help, or y'all just feel like counseling and shit one problem wasn't going to help. You know what I'm saying? Because it was already too late. Because sometimes it can be too late. You feel me? Well, no, nah, it ain't never too late. It ain't never too late. Remember that. It ain't never too late for nothing. But, yeah, man, I'm about done with this video, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell to be notified when I upload another video. Follow me on all my social media, man. I'm telling y'all, let's hit 3K before the G, and I promise y'all. I promise y'all, God is my witness. 2023, we going crazy. Like, I got so much planned. We got so much going on. We got, so, man, it's just so much. I can't speak on it. Hey, just believe in me right now. I'm telling you, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend to come subscribe. Watch this video. Share this video. Get it out there, man. Let's go viral. Let's hit a million on a video before the year end, man. Let's do it. We grinding, man. We in there. S L G. S S G H A G F M E. That's what it is, man. Big one. I'm catch y'all in the next one. Gang.